The second Grand Prix of the season takes us to the tropics, to Malaysia. Hardly any other track looks as symmetric from above. Yet the Sepang International Circuit has a new challenge in store at practically every turn. Right after the start, you enter a sweeping right-hander, the approach into the Pankor Lao Chicane. The exit is a downhill left-hand stretch where the front wheel often leaves the track. For the drivers, that means easing off. The circuit demands all-out top performance and full concentration. The odd breather, however, is possible on the straights. The setup, a tricky feat. Too much downforce costs speed, while too little costs grip. And yet, that's not all. If the grip's too strong, the tires suffer in the corners and on braking. Yet for overtaking, harsh maneuvers are essential. Another factor for the drivers, the relentless heat. A loss of around three liters of fluid tells a very clear story. That's more than a driver can replace during the race, and his body has simply got to cope. On the long straight after the Kenya Lake comes the first good overtaking opportunity, breaking down into the next S. Speed into the corner is just under 90 kilometers per hour, then back up to 210. Almost blind, the penultimate corner, Sunway Lagoon, with high G-forces. The circuit in Malaysia is one of the toughest challenges of the year for man and machine. Then a final corner in second gear, great acceleration under the pagoda roof and the finishing line on the Sepang International Circuits in sight. And here, in just the second race of the season, it'll become very clear who's the fittest driver in the field.